In this exercise, we will be making selections using the color range tool. I'm going to open up the uh, images provided in the exercise. I'm going to start by opening up the Denver Capital. That's the first one we're going to use uh, just uh, for demonstration purposes. Basically, you have a really nice clean blue sky in the background. We could make simple selections using tools we've been using the last couple of weeks, like the uh, quick selection tool. No problem there. The sky is, is uh, easy to do. Got a couple of uh, adjustments and uh, we would have better luck selecting just the sky. But it's not really perfect. I'll try it with the magic wand. And that maybe did a lot better. No problem there. But we can avoid running into these kinds of problems by using uh, another tool that is in the select menu. We're going to select by color range. Basically, you have lots of blue. So why not just tell Photoshop, hey, look at the blue, why don't you just pick that? I'm going to uh, make some adjustments here. I'm uh, having a preview selection here with the black mat. I am uh, using a fussiness of uh, anywhere around 50 to 60, and the range I have at 100%. We are selecting sample colors. And to sample the colors, uh, Photoshop gives us this eyedropper. I'm going to start clicking and while pressing shift to add to the selection, I'm selecting different ranges of blue. And you'll notice we're getting this mask being put on our preview. I'll click some more, press, still pressing shift until the fuzziness is uh, all but gone. I think that that should do it now. That's my image, this is my selection. I'm going to ask Photoshop to invert my selection because right now it's only making a selection of the sky but what I really wanted to select was the capital. I'm going to click OK to accept this and now I have a selection with uh, minimal problems. I have no running ants in, uh, coming into the selection so um, I'm happy with this. I'm going to open up another one of, one of these sample images. I'll open up these clouds return to my capital and copy my selection and paste it on top of this image. It's a giant capital building, yes, but you'll see that it blends really well with the background. You can choose your own background, whatever background you want. This is just a sample exercise, so you won't be turning into Denver Capital. I'm going to and make this into a smaller image like that. Double click to accept. And there's our picture of the Denver Capitol in the middle of a field somewhere with blue skies behind it. The assignment, I'm going to close these two. It's a little different. It's a different capital. I'm going to open that up. Big difference is here, yes, we have a nice blue sky, but uh, we also have all these branches hanging around the middle. This is where we would run into more trouble if we were to use the magic wand because of all these branches and because of the uh, the coloration of... We would run into... We, we would run into trouble using the magic wand because of all the branches and because of the uneven distribution of the color. Even if I were to try the quick selection tool I might still have some issues. You see the flag is not selected, the uh, finer details are not being taken into account. But if we use the uh, color range tool, click in there, I have the same settings. I'm going to keep the same fuzziness and range. I'm going to start selecting the blue and while pressing shift, start to get into the different blends of the sky, work my way around the branches, work my way down here, and maybe a little bit more detail here. You'll see our selection is being made really nicely over here. We will end up with some additional selections at the bottom of the picture, but we can correct those. 
I'm going to click OK. I have the sky selected. The flags are within the selection. I'm going to use the lasso tool. And while pressing the shift key, I'm going to make a, a selection around it, just dragging the lasso. That way I'm not missing out on any of the sidewalk, any of the unwanted areas where I want my selection to be solid. So now I have the capital, most of the trees and the branches selected. I can open up a different kind of sky. Open, uh, I'll use the same clouds again and place it on top of this image. It looks a little surreal, but you may use this background or one of your liking and turn it in for the grade.